Can you actually fix a small hole on your kayak using a lighter and some plastic? Or do you get a better result with a real welding rod? I'm going to test that this week on Kayak Hack. I saw another video where a guy used a lighter to melt plastic to fill in small holes on his kayak. What I want to do today is see if that really works and compare it to the result you would get if you actually used a welding rod. Now, the first step on this, regardless of what you do, is you have to put something underneath the hole. And what I've got is some aluminum foil on some duct tape, and I'm going to stick that up under the holes to give myself a firm base to work, work on this hole right here. But instead of cutting up parts of my kayak for scrap plastic, I've got a welding rod left over from when I repaired my stern and bow, and I'm going to use it. So the theory is that you put the flame close to the plastic and then not on it because you don't want to burn it, and that will gradually melt the plastic and fill in the hole. So Once I've got it reasonably melted, then the, the suggestion was to take a screwdriver and finish the job. Now the downside I see is I've got this glob here. I use too much. And if that bugs you, then you'd have to get that off with a Dremel or sandpaper. Now let's switch to a welding rod and see how it goes. Certainly a lot faster with the welding rod. I'm all done with the welding rod, you can see that it's a lot cleaner on the two holes I used for it. And I went ahead and cleaned up the one where I used the lighter. But the lighter worked. It filled in the hole. And if I had wanted to sand it or dremel it, it would have been good to go. So if you don't want to spend the money on a welding rod, go ahead and use the lighter. Thumbs up on that idea. Comments? Take care.